House lawmakers have moved forward to tackling the 2021 national budget following the speakership saga. To give us a recap, Ria Fernandez joins us live from the Batasang Pambansa. Ria, how's this Tuesday going for the members of the lower house? Charles, it's official. Marinduque Representative Lord Alan Velasco is the new Speaker of the House. This after 186 members of the lower chamber ratified his election yesterday during a session inside the halls of Batasan this morning. From Celebrity Sports Plaza, allies of Marinduque Representative Lord Alan Velasco trooped to the Batasan, only to find that the session hall was locked. It was not until Isabella Representative Tony Pet Albano and Acobico Representative Alfredo Garbin forcefully pushed open the door in the North Wing that the lawmakers were able to enter the session hall and cast their votes. Session resumed. Since the lockdown began in March, more than 25 representatives have been allowed inside the session hall. The lawmakers moved to ratify Velasco's unofficial election outside the Batasan yesterday. With 186 votes, he formally replaced Tagig Pateros Representative Alan Peter Cayetano. 186 votes. And with the blessings of the Lord of the Lord God Almighty, the House of the People now have a new speaker. In his speech, Velasco laid down his reasons for claiming the House leadership. He said it was for the Filipino people who were trampled and disregarded when the previous leadership abruptly passed the 2021 budget on second reading and suspended session for over a month. Our people cannot wait. And they do not deserve to wait even more. Sim simply because someone's political plans are now in peril. Velasco added that he assumed the leadership because of the word of honor. The new speaker took the opportunity to apologize to President Duterte over the perceived rejection of some lawmakers to honor the term sharing deal. No need to open fresh wounds at this point, as there will come a right time for that. However, there is no denying that all this unnecessary turmoil we are currently experiencing resulted from the abject refusal to honor that agreement. More political parties at the House expressed full support to Velasco, including Hugpong ng Pagbabago chaired by presidential daughter and Davao City Mayor Sara Duterte. As I see him as having the moral ascendancy decency and credibility to hold the leadership of the House of Representatives. Allies of Cayetano were also present, including Senior Deputy Majority Floor Leader Boying Remulia and those who previously said they were neutral on the speakership role. The session was then suspended. The newly ousted speaker took to social media to tender his resignation from the post and vowed to help quietly and continue to work on the 2021 budget. Uh, verbally, I am tendering my irrevocable resignation as the Speaker of the House of the Republic of the Philippines. Charles, the House has reconvened again and this time they are taking up the 2021 budget uh, amid the special session called for by the President. Meanwhile, Davao First District Representative Paulo Duterte, who resigned as Deputy Speaker, is now the new House Accounts Committee Chairperson. The panel has jurisdiction on the lower House's internal budget. Charles? Thanks for that, Ria. That was Ria Fernandez reporting live from Batasang, Pambansa.